Hello beautiful souls, thank you for joining me today for this beautiful little DM to DF reading. I do hope you're well and you're staying focused, believing and trusting in what you already know and you're having a blessed day or evening, wherever you are, whatever time it is, where you're living in the world. So I'm going to be doing this reading with the Divine Muscling Secrets, my deck. And this could be sweet secrets, you know, your Divine Muscling hasn't yet revealed to you what you just don't know. <laughs> Um, I haven't shared with you yet, but the Divine Muskins are being prepared to communi communicate to their Divine Feminines because communication is coming through. So let's see what it is that your Divine Muskin would love to show and express to you. If any of you guys would like any extra support, all the information about the services I offer is in the description box down below. There is an offer for January. When you purchase your first phone session, you get a free 45 minute private reading. So that one flew out. So that's definite what they want to share with you. I'm feeling so emotional today. I'm, so, I'm feeling so emotional today. So they're missing you, they're longing for you, they're feeling this overwhelmment of, you know, they know that they've got to communicate. There could be things going on around them as well that they're moving themselves away from. I will do whatever it takes that so that I can be with you again. So they are doing whatever it takes so they can be with you again. And it's causing them to feel quite emotional. The thought of coming back to you... The thought of things that they're having, you know, to leave behind as well. The old, because they are leaving the old version um, of themselves. It's all too much and makes them feel emotional. It's safe to love me, trust me. And they want you to know that it is safe to feel this love so deeply within you. That you can't explain to anybody. You're safe to love me, trust me. And that is very deep because... On this journey, <laughs> your divine masculine at times, their behaviour is showing you the complete opposite again, where it's like, how can I trust you after everything that you've said? You know, you haven't been true to me, you've been wearing your mask. But this isn't about the physical person. This isn't about your divine masculine. This is about you, divine feminines. You are the spiritual leader. You are the positive polarity. So it does start <laughs> within you. So when you go within and you live your life trusting your intuition, trusting the love, the knowing that you do have about your divine masculine, who they are, that is you showing trust to your divine masculine. You don't have to think about the past or the behaviours of your divine masculine, um, what happened between you. Let that go and be in the present moment because that is where the power is. Trust yourself. Believe in yourself, what you already know. Don't rely on anything outside of yourself to confirm what you already know. Be confident and make that commitment to yourself. And see your divine masculine as your divine masculine with truth. Seeing through the eyes of love, even if it isn't matching up in the 3D. Ignore what's going on in the 3D. Stay in the truth. <laughs> Being the love, the unconditional love that you are. So it is safe. It hurts so much not being with you physically right now. But I know our preparation is all part of us coming, becoming the best version of ourselves for our future together. And that's why I'm feeling emotional today. Because it does hurt so much. It hurts knowing that you, you're not feeling safe to love me because of my behaviour. And it hurts the stuff that I'm actually facing right now. But they're sharing with you that you being in this preparation, both of you facing yourselves, it is you becoming the best version of yourself. And they want this future with you. They want to spend the rest of their life with you. They want to give you their all. But before, they couldn't do that. But they're learning about themselves and they're facing things that they've been trying to hide for such a long time time and avoid so it does hurt 
and all they want to do is to be with their divine feminine but they know that when they're with you that they've got to be coming from a place of true pure unconditional love not from the ego not from the mind so very powerful these messages stay your eyes are the most beautiful eyes i've ever seen yeah and they love your eyes so much because they see themselves in your eyes and the way you look at them your eyes sparkle and they glow and you're looking at your divine masculine with the truth of who they are you can see through to the soul because their eyes are the window of the soul and you look at them as if they're a superstar and you just got this love you're full of this love and it's just like oh my goodness so they do get lost in your eyes and they know your eyes are the most beautiful eyes to them because you're one <sighs> the toxic chatter in my head is fading and my soul calling is becoming so clear yeah things are getting clear because i'm facing myself say it self sorry i'm getting my words a bit I'm pronouncing words funny and I'm getting my words a bit jumbled today. So they are feeling a bit emotional and anxious, I think, about this communication as well of what they're going to say to you. Um, but this chatter in the head, they're managing it so much better now. And things are getting, getting clearer and clearer and they're listening to the truth of who they are and who you are. We are the greatest love story the world has ever seen or heard of, yeah, because it is so different, because it's not just the usual, you know, when two people get together, they have romance, lovey-dovey, and they live happily ever after. This is so different because it's a journey of self. It's a journey of you coming back to your beautiful, original soul blueprint. <laughs> and... The greatest love of all is loving yourself. So this is why it's the greatest love story, because it's so different, it's so unique. And, um, you know, it's so deep. It's so, so deep and so beautiful. And it doesn't feel beautiful when you're on it because you're having to remove things that no longer serve you and that have been hurting you for a long time. And you're not put band-aids over those wounds anymore they're they're open and you feel exposed you feel vulnerable when it hurts but having it open to the air like a wound you're allowing it to you are allowing this to heal so you are the greatest love story and your journey and your story is so different from everybody else as well when you when you share your story with women but with everybody else it's like oh my goodness, other people wouldn't get it. They would be like, I'm like, that can't be true, really. They think we're bonkers. But it is the greatest love story because it's loving yourself. And by loving yourself, then you are opening yourself up to receive this gift of your divine counterpart, your divine masculine, divine feminine. So, um, because you're putting yourself first, that's why it's so beautiful and so the greatest love story. And when I look and look at the moon and the stars, it makes me feel so close to you, yeah. So when they're out in nature and they're looking up at the moon and the stars, they feel so close to you and they feel so close to God, the universe, the angels. <laughs> and they're in their truth when they're looking up at the stars and the moon. And that's because that's where you are when you're, in, you know, when they're in their truth, sorry. And you are the reason my heart is still beating. Yeah, you are the reason my heart is still beating. You are the reason why I'm facing myself. You are the reason that my heart is still beating and that I'm moving forwards. Because at times I felt like I was dying and I couldn't do this. The same as what happens to you, divine feminines. But when we get that feeling of dying, when we feel as if we've hit rock bottom that's because our ego is dying it's fading away like what divine masculine is shared in this message today because the truth is coming through the love has the power now and at times the ego does get hungry and it comes it tries to attack it wants to be fed again but it's fading it is fading 
because the love has the power now. <laughs> so thank you so much for joining me today for this beautiful little DM to DF reading. It's so wonderful, this message and what I've channeled um, today for the Divine Masculines. I do hope that it helps you more understand about the Twin Flame journey and what's going on with your Divine Masculine. And um, thank you to all of you for the love and support that you give me. I am so very grateful to each one of you. And if you haven't subscribed already, don't forget to subscribe, like and share, because it really does help my channel grow. That's if you feel connected to me. And I'm sending you all so much love, my support, my strength and light. And I love you all so very much. See ya. Oh, that's your soul saying, oh.